So for today's video, we're gonna get this thing running. My continued quest of clearing out some of my horde of lawnmowers. This one I'm almost, it's almost guaranteed it needs a carburetor cleaning and uh, probably a new primer bulb. Have to see if I have one. This one does still work though, so if I don't have one on hand, we'll just leave that one as it is. Tank is dry. A little bit of wet in there though, not sure that is. Oil's good. Only thing I've done to this machine off camera is put this used blade handle control cable on. So now it works. The other one was seized up, so I threw it away. Just gotta trim those zip ties. But what I'm gonna do, since I already have a couple good carbs here that just need to be cleaned up, that's where I'm gonna start this video is here on the workbench and clean one of these up and then we'll throw it on. This is something that I've been uh, trying to do more recently and that's clean up a lot of these carburetors and then install them just because it kind of saves time a bit. This one wouldn't have started. Not a chance. Let's see what the damage is. Old fuel. It's not too bad. We're gonna give this thing a good cleaning with some carb cleaner. It's a 20,000 sized wire. You just want to clean that little hole out really well. So now we can actually see through it. Everything down below is good. Clean this out. Then we'll clean up this bottom jet. can see all the crap that it just pulled out of the center of there. So it's all reassembled. Let's go ahead and put it on the machine. Do the fuel line. Yeah, this carburetor is pretty dirty. Should be able to clean it up though. Uh, that just broke off pretty easily. Get a new uh, gasket too. So a new gasket. I'll install that here in a minute. I'm gonna go clean off this air box. All right. So this is all cleaned up. Put the new gasket on. with these when you reinstall them make sure that this little line goes on that nub right there drain some fuel in this machine still has a blade on it that's good I didn't even check that 
give that thing a sharpen too. All right, so give her a couple primes. Let's see if we can get her to start. okay I'm gonna let it run a little bit more off camera cut up these zip ties clean it off a bit and put that little cover back on I had to adjust the uh, governor spring just a little bit it looked like whoever owned this thing before had messed with it some and there was like no tension on the spring so it was like this was all the way back there and there was just nothing pulling the governor arm forward. So I unlocked it here. I don't know if the other owner had done that or not. And then just adjusted it, took my pliers and moved this up a bit. So it looks like I have it pretty uh, dead balls on to be honest. But like I said, I'm gonna put that cover back on. Then I'm gonna wash this thing off and it's about a 40 or $50 lawnmower, but Biggest thing is I got a video out of it and we'll be able to clear it out of the hoard. Stay tuned for more videos.